Explore the wonders of outer space and the breathtaking beauty of galaxies that seem to stretch endlessly into the cosmic abyss. Join us on a journey to become acquainted with some of the closest galaxies, each with unique features that captivate our imagination and hold particular interest for astronomers. In the vast expanse of the cosmos, galaxies are organized into groups, and one such grouping is the local group of galaxies. Similar to other neighboring groups and more densely populated clusters, the local group is part of a larger mass concentration known as the local supercluster of galaxies. With a diameter of about 100 million light years and a thickness of approximately 35 million light years, the supercluster centers around a massive cluster of galaxies in Virgo, situated at a distance of 50 million light years from us. Taking center stage in the local group is the third largest galaxy in size and mass, and the closest on-bar spiral galaxy to our Milky Way. M33 or the Triangulum Galaxy. Located in the constellation of the same name, M33 harbors the massive black hole X7, boasting a mass equivalent to about 16 times that of the Sun. As a key player in our cosmic neighborhood, M33 showcases the marvels of stellar phenomena. Beyond M33, we encounter the Andromeda Galaxy, a giant spiral-type barred galaxy, and its satellites, Dominating the local group, Andromeda is positioned 2.5 billion light-years away and holds a mass 1.5 times greater than our Milky Way. A detailed exploration of Andromeda is available in a separate video on this channel. Continuing our cosmic odyssey, we arrive at Centaurus A or NGC 5128, the nearest lenticular galaxy with a polar ring to the Milky Way. Illuminating the Centaurus constellation, this galaxy ranks fifth in brightness among our neighboring galaxies, offering a fascinating glimpse into galactic diversity. Further into the cosmic tapestry, we encounter the irregular Wolf Lund Mark Mlot, WLM galaxy, residing at the edge of the local group. Discovered by Max Wolf in 1909, OLM experiences tidal interactions from another group member, the dwarf elliptical galaxy PGC 29194. This dynamic interplay adds complexity to the life of galaxies within our cosmic neighborhood. In the constellation of Sculptor, we discover NGC 300, a spiral galaxy belonging to a group located approximately 6.1 million light years away from the Milky Way. Recent findings have expanded our understanding of NGC 300, revealing a large, rarefied outer disk of old stars, surpassing the size of any known before. Our cosmic journey unfolds with NGC 55, a lenticular barred spiral-type dwarf galaxy located on the border of Sculptor and Phoenix constellations. Positioned 6.2 million light-years away, NGC 55 presents a captivating edge-on view, allowing us to study its structure and characteristics. Continuing our exploration, we encounter the distant galaxy Mafi 2, residing 12 million light-years away in the constellation of Cassiopeia. A spiral galaxy, Mafi 2, exemplifies the challenges of observing galaxies situated at significant cosmic distances. Amidst the celestial wonders, NGC 404 stands out as the ghost of Mirage in the constellation of Andromeda. Proximity to the bright star Mirage, which obstructs its observation, gives NGC 404 its intriguing nickname. Despite this celestial neighborhood, the ghostly galaxy remains visible making it a fascinating subject for observers with small telescopes. Further along our cosmic expedition, NGC 243, situated in the constellation of Giraffe, becomes a focal point. Part of the M81 galaxy group, NGC 243 unveils the intricate dance of cosmic dust and star formation within its structure. Our journey through the cosmic marvels continues with each galaxy adding its unique chapter to the cosmic story. As astronomers strive to decipher the secrets of the universe, the quest for understanding its constituents, the nature of dark matter, and the ultimate fate of the cosmos remains an ongoing exploration, fueling the excitement and curiosity that drive the field of astronomy into the future. A group of galaxies is a vast collection of celestial entities, and the majority of stars within this galaxy are characterized by their antiquity, consisting mainly of old, metal-poor stars 
that originated around 12 billion years ago during the early phase of star formation. Despite this, the galaxy exhibits smaller clusters of young, hot, blue stars. Specifically, NGC 243 is an integral part of the M81 group of galaxies, showcasing not only its aged stellar population, but also featuring blue open clusters, dark dust streaks, and a relatively compact core radiating in the center. Within this group, there are an additional 40 dwarf galaxies, contributing to the cosmic tapestry. Moving on to the next astronomical marvel, we encounter the Sicker Spiral Galaxy, also known as M82, situated in the Ursa Major constellation. This galaxy is marked by robust star formation and hosts a supermassive black hole at its center, boasting a mass of up to 30 million solar masses. Our celestial exploration continues with PGC 45279, a striking barred spiral galaxy, SBC, in the constellation of Centaurus. All resembling our Milky Way, X-ray observations reveal a quasar-like nucleus housing a potentially active supermassive black hole. Positioned at a distance of 11.7 million light-years, this galaxy adds to the diversity of cosmic wonders. Concluding our celestial journey, we encounter the Caldwell Galaxy Coldwell 5, also known as IC342, an intermediate-type spiral galaxy nestled in the giraffe constellation. Located near the galactic plane, the absorption of radiation by dust complicates the observation of this galaxy, making it challenging to precisely determine its distance. Current estimates place it at 17 million light-years away. As we wrap up our exploration of the most intriguing galaxies in the local group, these observations prove invaluable for unraveling the mysteries of galactic formation and understanding the life cycles of these commonplace yet abundant stellar systems within the vast expanse of the universe. Transitioning to an exploration of the largest galaxies in the observable universe, we embark on a cosmic parade that showcases the immense size and mass of these celestial entities. Our journey begins with the fifth largest galaxy, Hercules A, 3C348, a yellowish galaxy boasting a diameter of 1.5 million light-years. Positioned approximately 2 billion light-years away, Hercules A stands out as one of the brightest extragalactic radio sources, housing a black hole 1,000 times more massive than the one at the center of our Milky Way. In the fourth position, we encounter IC1101, a galaxy residing in the massive galaxy cluster Abel 2029 on the outskirts of the Virgo constellation. With a diameter of around 6 million light-years, IC1101 has long been considered one of the largest galaxies in the observable universe. Comparatively, it is 60 times larger and 2,000 times more massive than our Milky Way, emphasizing its colossal scale within the cosmic landscape. Continuing our exploration, the third largest galaxy, UGC 9555, commands attention within the UGC 9555 galaxy triplet system. Its vast dimensions contribute to its ranking as the third largest galaxy in the observable universe. This cosmic giant adds to the diversity of galactic structures, further enriching our understanding of the expansive celestial realm. The astronomical journey concludes with a focus on the largest galaxies, shedding light on their immense proportions and distinctive features. As we delve into the cosmic hierarchy, these galactic behemoths hold a pivotal place in the grand tapestry of the observable universe, leaving astronomers in awe of the vastness and complexity inherent in the celestial wonders that surround us. The constellation Camella Pardalis hosts an astronomical marvel known as UGC 9555, a colossal island of stars positioned at a distance of 820 million light years from Earth. This sprawling cosmic entity spans just over 8 million light years in diameter, with its mass posing a challenge to estimate accurately. However, experts believe it surpasses 65 to 75 trillion times the mass of the Sun. Much like other immense galaxies, UGC 9555 achieved its colossal size and substantial mass through the relentless assimilation of neighboring galaxies residing in its cosmic vicinity. This process of cosmic cannibalism has contributed to its current astronomical stature. In the cosmic hierarchy, the second largest contender is 3C236, 
situated 15 million light years away. Classified as a radio galaxy of the FRI and FRLI second class, it stands among the largest known radio galaxies, finding its place in the celestial expanse of the Leo Minor constellation. Notably, this galaxy displays a distinctive double-double radio morphology, featuring a giant relic source and a more compact inner radio source. Recent episodes of star formation near the core are linked to events reigniting radioactivity within the galaxy. Claiming the top position in our intergalactic showcase is the colossal galaxy Alcyonius. Recent studies have unveiled its staggering length, surpassing 16 million light years, and its location at a distance of 3 billion light years from Earth. Researchers utilized radio lobes inherent to massive galaxies like our Milky Way to detect the cosmic supergent. The Alcyonius galaxy, identified through a low-frequency radio antenna network, presents an unprecedented discovery in the annals of space observation. Within the core of Alcyonius resides a supermassive black hole, influencing the galaxy's life cycle by impeding new star formation. Occasionally, this leads to dramatic events as the black hole absorbs material, forming jets that expel fuel for new stars at nearly the speed of light. These jets evolve into giant radio-emitting lobes, showcasing a celestial spectacle. Measured characteristics of Alcyonus include a supermassive black hole 400 million times the mass of our Sun and a total galaxy mass estimated at 240 billion times the mass of our Sun. The grandiosity of radio galaxies exemplified by Alcyonus raises questions about why not all galaxies exhibit such colossal dimensions. It is theorized that these giants represent the oldest radio galaxies, existing long enough for their radio jets to attain immense sizes over hundreds of millions of years. This perspective suggests the potential existence of numerous undiscovered giant radio galaxies, emphasizing the importance of studying these cosmic behemoths to unravel the evolution of galaxies. Shifting focus to the realm of galactic halos, researchers employing the Hubble Space Telescope have meticulously mapped out the expansive shell of gas enveloping the Andromeda galaxy. To their astonishment, this ethereal and nearly invisible halo of diffused plasma extends a staggering 1.3 million light years from the galaxy, reaching halfway toward our Milky Way and spanning 2 million light years in other directions. This revelation implies that Andromeda's halo is currently intersecting with the halo of our own galaxy. Furthermore, the Andromeda halo displays a layered structure, featuring two main layers and distinct shells of gas. Understanding these vast gas halos surrounding galaxies is of paramount importance as they serve as reservoirs for future star formation and contain remnants from cosmic events like supernovas. Laden with clues about the galaxy's past and future, these halos play a pivotal role in unraveling the mysteries of galactic evolution. The discovery of such extensive halos enriches our comprehension of the intricate interplay within the cosmic tapestry. Understanding the evolution of galaxies, such as the Milky Way, reveals intriguing insights into their dynamic inner and outer shells. In the case of the Milky Way, the inner shell, spanning about half a million light years, exhibits a more intricate and dynamic nature compared to the outer shell, which appears smoother and hotter. This distinction is attributed to the impact of supernovas in the galaxy's disk, exerting a more direct influence on the inner halo. While residing within the Milky Way, deducing the precise profile shape of its halo poses challenges. However, it is presumed that the halo of Andromeda, being similar in size and appearance to the Milky Way, shares comparable characteristics. The modeling of their movements indicates an impending collision, foretelling the formation of a giant elliptical galaxy in approximately 5 billion years. Despite the collision being in its early stages, the weak halos of the two galaxies have already initiated contact, setting the course for an eventual merger that seems inevitable. The consequences of galactic collisions vary based on size differentials. Large galaxies absorbing smaller ones typically maintain their structure, while collisions between galaxies of similar size, like the Milky Way and Andromeda, result in structural collapse. Ejected stars, swallowed by merging supermassive black holes, and the disruption of the galaxy's spiral structure paved the way for the formation of a new giant elliptical galaxy. 
Galactic collisions can trigger a surge in star formation, generating vast hydrogen clouds that induce gravitational collapses. However, such mergers may also accelerate the aging process of galaxies, depleting gas reservoirs and leaving behind old, cold red stars. Giant elliptical galaxies resulting from collisions often exhibit an abundance of red stars and a scarcity of active star-forming regions. Notably, the merging of black holes during galactic collisions can lead to the emission of gravitational waves and the formation of a quasar or active nucleus at the reformed galaxy's center. This process may also impart a cosmic kick to some stars, turning them into wanderers with their accompanying planets. The ultimate outcome of galactic collisions remains a captivating cosmic mystery, with potential transformations that may render galaxies unrecognizable over billions of years. In the grand scheme of cosmic cataclysms, galactic collisions can unfold in various ways, from grazing encounters to head-on collisions, dramatically altering the appearance of involved galaxies. The fate of our own galaxy, the Milky Way, in the distant future remains uncertain, but the spectacle promises a radically transformed and unrecognizable cosmic world. Transitioning from the cosmic scale to the human experience, the discussion shifts to gravitational forces, commonly expressed in terms of g-forces. G-forces represent the ratio of the absolute value of linear acceleration caused by non-gravitational forces to the standard acceleration of free fall on Earth's surface. This dimensionless value is often stated in units of gravity, g, with 1g equal to the standard acceleration of free fall, approximately 9.81 meters per second squared. G-forces are prevalent in both everyday life and specific situations, influencing individuals both emotionally and physically. The impact of G-forces is not limited to Earth, extending into space and even hypothetical faster-than-light speeds. Exploring the effects of G-forces in different scenarios offers insights into their significance and implications for human experience. Inertia, a force related to the conventional gravitational force acting on a body under Earth's sea level conditions, becomes more pronounced as maneuvers become more extreme. The human body can endure accelerations exceeding 9 Gs for brief periods, but sustaining such forces for extended durations is challenging. Remarkably, Certain individuals have undergone extreme G-forces without severe injury, highlighting the body's resilience. One notable incident involves Eli Beating, who experienced a force of 82.6 Gs while riding a rocket-powered sled in 1958. Despite losing consciousness, he emerged with only minor bruises, demonstrating the body's remarkable adaptability. John Ivanovic Dove, a Soviet space program equipment tester, engaged in experiments pushing the limits of the human body, earning him the moniker Ground-Based Astronaut. His experiences, including exposure to 50 Gs during an emergency landing simulation, provide insights into human endurance. As we contemplate the distant future of space travel, envisaging spacecraft moving thousands of times faster than current technology allows, potential risks associated with high-speed travel come to the forefront. In hypothetical scenarios where humans surpass the speed of light, concerns arise about the impact of rapid acceleration on the human body. Acceleration, a key determinant of g-force magnitude, requires a gradual approach to ensure the well-being of passengers. Even if we suspend the laws of physics and imagine accelerating a ship to the speed of light, the time frame for reaching that speed becomes crucial. A gradual acceleration, allowing a passenger to maintain safety at a moderate speed, aligns with Newton's first law of motion, emphasizing resistance to sudden changes in motion. Conversely, rapid acceleration and deceleration, reminiscent of fatal outcomes in road accidents, pose risks due to the property of inertia, where mass resists changes in motion. Transitioning to astronomical wonders, the Sombrero Galaxy and 104 NGC 4594, captures attention with its distinctive appearance resembling a Mexican sombrero hat. Located at a distance of 29.3 million light years and spanning approximately 50,000 light years, this spiral galaxy within an elliptical galaxy emits strong radiation believed to be influenced by a supermassive black hole in its core. The intrigue surrounding the sombrero galaxy prompts questions about its origin and shape. 
exploring the dynamics of this celestial object, including its unique floating ring the size of a galaxy, invites a deeper understanding of galactic formations and the forces shaping our vast universe. The Sombrero Galaxy, the largest object in the Virgo constellation, earned its name due to its visible resemblance to a luminous cloud with an elliptical shape and a rim of dark matter. This inferred image, captured by the Spitzer Space Telescope, showcases the unique features of the galaxy with digital sharpening and overlaying of an optical image from the Hubble telescope. Its hat-like appearance inspired its moniker, inviting a playful reference to a Mexican hiding in the nebula. In the context of modern classification, galaxy formation is considered a natural stage in the universe's evolution, driven by gravitational forces. The initial stages involve particles of dust and gas grouping, fusing and forming clusters that eventually evolved into massive galaxies. The diversity in galaxy shapes is attributed to varying initial conditions during formation. However, the Sombrero Galaxy stands out due to its distinct composition, consisting of two different types of galaxies, likely elliptical and spiral, interlaced in a remarkably balanced and beautiful manner. Its edgewise orientation to Earth complicates determining its overall shape definitively. An intriguing hypothesis proposes that around 9 billion years ago, the cluster accumulated gas from intergalactic space, giving rise to the formation of this galactic hat of proportions. Despite its enigmatic nature, the Sombrero Galaxy, located 28 million light years away in the Virgo constellation, continues to captivate astronomers. Its colossal mass, estimated to equal a mass of 800 billion suns, stems from the abundance of stars and a vast ring of dust encircling it. The central region of the galaxy reveals dark lanes of dust, a bright halo of stars and globular clusters, and blue emission indicative of active star formation. Examining the central component closely, numerous pinpoint sources of light, representing globular clusters, become apparent. The intricate structure of the dust rings conceals young and bright stars, posing a challenge to astronomers seeking a complete understanding. Evidence points to the presence of a supermassive black hole at the galaxy's center with a mass equivalent to one billion suns. The Hubble Space Telescope's observations confirm the rapid rotation of stars in the central region, while abnormally high X-ray emissions further suggest the black hole's influence on the galaxy's dynamics. The Sombrero Galaxy continues to unveil mysteries, captivating both amateur enthusiasts and professional astronomers alike. Black hole at its core, if desired, it can even be seen with an amateur telescope. It's sufficient to point it at the southern edge of the Virgo cluster, and the galaxy will appear right before your eyes. Its apparent magnitude is 8, so it won't be difficult for you to locate it. But you won't be able to see all the beauty in great detail. We can only imagine how many amazing worlds of the many distant galaxies and systems could possibly be out there. At some point, every single one of you has contemplated the thought, what is infinity anyhow? How can you understand it? How can you imagine it? How can you wrap your mind around it? And how can you picture an endless sequence of numbers, a constant which never ends, a number that includes the phone numbers of all your acquaintances, the dates of birth of all the people on the planet, their credit card numbers, the designations of all known stars, and even the date of your dentist appointment. All of this massive series of numbers is contained in an amazing mathematical constant, the number pi, and despite the fact that it has been known since ancient times to this day, pi stimulates the minds not only of scientists but also of ordinary people. Those who first calculated the number pi can be considered prehistoric people who, when weaving baskets, noticed that in order to get the desired diameter, it was necessary to use a reed three times as long as the diameter. This fact was recorded on tablets made of baked clay that were found in Mesopotamia. Examples of accurate and not entirely accurate calculations of the number pi can be found in the works of Egyptian, Babylonian, Indian, Chinese, and ancient Greek geometers. So what is this mysterious number pi anyway? It is a mathematical constant that expresses the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. Many ancient scientists, including Archimedes, tried to calculate pi each time by filling a circle with polygons that had an enormous number of sides so they would more tightly fit within the area of the circle. 
Archimedes used a 96-gun Chinese mathematicians fit in a 192-gun, then a 372-gun, and finally they managed to fit a polygon with 24,576 sides into a circle. This is why many mathematicians contend that a circle is a figure with an infinite number of angles. Up until the 15th century, only nine decimal places were known. Isaac Newton calculated the number of pi to 16 digits, and as recently as the 19th century, it was calculated out to 707 decimal places. But with the advent of computers, this process has accelerated significantly, and now science has already identified about 50 trillion decimal places. Pi is irrational, its decimal representation never comes to an end, and it is not periodic. Consequently, based upon the formula that the circumference of a circle is equal to pi times its diameter, the circle doesn't come to a close since there is no finite number. This fact can also be closely related to the spiral characteristics in our lives. After all, even the orbit of our Earth is not at all a circle. It moves in a spiral relative to the center of the universe and space-time. A logical question arises. How many numbers do you need to know in order to make a given calculation? Let's round pi up to the 15th digit. And as an example, let's take the farthest spacecraft from the Earth. Voyager 1, which is located at a distance of about 20 billion kilometers. Imagine a circle with a radius this size, in other words, a diameter of 40 billion kilometers for which we want to calculate its circumference using the formula 2 par. It turns out to be a little more than 125 billion kilometers. We don't need to put emphasis on the exact circumference. We are interested in the error of the measurement. So it turns out that the circumference using the constant rounded up to 15 digits is calculated with an error of less than 4 centimeters. Think about that. We have a circumference of 125 billion kilometers, and the margin of error is less than the length of your little finger. We can study the problem using the example of the Earth. The diameter at the equator is 12,756 kilometers. The circumference of the equator is 40,075 kilometers which is the distance you'd have to cover if you want to travel around the world, not taking into account mountains, valleys, and obstacles like buildings, parking lots, ocean waves, etc. How wrong is your odometer when using a rounded off value of pi? Its error is about the size of molecule. Naturally, there are different kinds of molecules that differ in size, but you get the idea. The size of the error is about 10,000 times less than the thickness of a strand of hair. Now, let's take the largest possible object, the visible universe. Its radius is approximately 46 billion light years. How many decimal places of pi do you need to use to calculate the circumference of the universe with an error of no more than the diameter of a hydrogen atom, the smallest atom? You need 39 places following the decimal. If you think about how huge the universe is, well and truly larger than we could ever comprehend, and such a tiny atom of hydrogen, you will then understand that a really accurate calculation doesn't require very many decimal places of pi. There is an abundance of surprising facts about this constant. Stanislav Ulam, a Polish-American mathematician, in 1965 wrote the numbers of pi on graph paper. He put the three in the center and moving in a clockwise spiral, wrote down the numbers after the decimal point. In addition, he drew circles around all the prime numbers. He was both surprised and aghast when he noticed that the circles were organized in straight lines. Then using a special algorithm, the mathematician made a color picture based on this drawing, which is called the Ulam spiral. Seeing that pi correlates a curved object, circle, with a straight object, the diameter, we can find it in all sorts of places. Some find the number pi in riverbeds, the length of a river with all of its meandering bends in relation to the straight line between its source and its delta, according to calculations, is on average pi. Models for virtually all wave-related phenomena will involve the number pi. Let's take light and sound, for example. Pi determines what colors are visible in the spectrum of a rainbow and how the note C should sound. The number pi is also observed in the process of the cells in apples acquiring a spherical form and in the brightness of the light output of a supernova. Well, perhaps the code of the universe is encrypted in this number. In order to find out if these missing perturbations could be caused by a multiply connected universe, scientists made many computer simulations of what the cosmic microwave background radiation would look like if the universe had the form of a giant three-dimensional monad. 
where it is connected to itself in all three dimensions. The properties of the observed fluctuations, such as the deviation from the mean value of a random magnitude characterizing a system of a large number of chaotically interacting particles of the cosmic microwave background radiation, show insufficient power on a scale exceeding the size of the universe. This lack of power means that fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background radiation are not present on such scales, and that our universe is multiply connected and finite. In other words, it looks like the cosmic microwave background is missing signals which must be present if the universe were truly infinite. One explanation for this suggests that the topology of the universe is curved in such a way that it connects back to itself like a donut, or a bagel of intergalactic dimensions. Just as you can roll a sheet of paper into a tube without changing its parallel properties, the universe can be donut-shaped while remaining flat. This is exactly what the researchers have found out with the aid of simulations of the cosmic microwave background. It turns out that compared to the standard cosmological model, which is considered infinite, we found a much better matching observation of the fluctuations. Such a universe must have an end, and the entirety of the vast expanse is possibly no more than four times larger than the boundaries of the universe that is observable by man, and its size is 47 billion light years in diameter. The universe can be self-contained in three dimensions and have the shape of a three-dimensional donut. Models of the finite universe may be intimidating to some people, but you will not perceive these boundaries for all practical purposes. You simply live in an infinite universe despite it having finite dimensions. But even if you don't necessarily end up finding yourself at the edge of this us, in a finite universe, theoretically, one could circumnavigate it and return to where they started because light can travel across the entire finite universe. The idea of a donut-shaped universe raises curiosity about how it looks from the side and its orientation among other cosmic structures. Our universe is known to have three spatial dimensions, length, height, and width. Multi-dimensional space, however, is considered more concentrated in terms of informational and energy capacities. In a higher dimension, information from lower dimensions may be concentrated at a single point in space. The challenge is in comprehending and perceiving these higher dimensions. An analogy is drawn to illustrate this challenge. If a cue is placed in front of an observer, the backside is not visible due to dimensional vision. When the cube rotates, the brain comprehends its three-dimensional nature, but the eyes still perceive it in two dimensions. If human vision were three-dimensional, the cube could be seen simultaneously from all sides, offering a comprehensive view of space. In a two-dimensional space, individuals would face difficulties in conceptualizing movements outside the flat plane. Similarly, understanding a four-dimensional space is challenging. While three-dimensional space is described by three coordinates, a four-dimensional space would require four coordinates. A four-dimensional cube, known as a tesseract, is obtained by sliding an ordinary cube along a direction not within our three-dimensional space. A key question arises, why does our universe have precisely three spatial dimensions? It seems connected to the characteristics of matter, which exhibits three spatial attributes, length, width, and height. The concept of additional dimensions beyond our perception remains speculative, and it's uncertain why there are precisely three spatial dimensions. Considering the possibility of a fourth dimension, it is suggested that inhabitants in a one-dimensional existence would perceive two-dimensional beings as component parts of their dimension. Similarly, two-dimensional beings in a flat plane could only perceive three-dimensional beings as two-dimensional imprints or projections. Imagining a four-dimensional space requires visualizing an additional side for movement and a restructuring of atomic configurations. In this scenario, electrons around atomic nuclei would rotate in the fourth direction, leading to a change in chemical properties and the collapse of three-dimensional forms of life. The Earth now, one atom in thickness in the fourth dimension, would collapse under its own mass, forming a four-dimensional hypersphere. This restructuring would affect all celestial bodies, causing a chaotic change in orbits. The number of dimensions beyond our perception remains a mystery. Mathematical hypotheses suggest an infinite number of spatial dimensions. Modern physics aligns with this idea, although quantifying these dimensions is challenging. Understanding even a few additional dimensions could provide a valuable tool for managing the complexities of our world.